this is Sally from Launch Code, and today we are going to continue working on our Coding Events application and we are going to finish up our form that we added in the last video. In our last video, we used a view to render a simple form, but now we need to add an action method to the controller to handle the form submission. So to do that, I'm just going to give myself some space here. I'm going to use an HTTP POST annotation. And then I'm going to give a route annotation as well. And the route I'm going to be using is the same route as our add action method. So slash events slash add. You may remember from the last video that the add action method responds to get requests at the route localhost 5001 slash events slash add. This new action method that we are adding is going to respond to post requests at the exact same route. We're going to use the I action result return type. I'm just going to call it new event. You may remember from the form from last time that we have just one type of input we are gathering, which is the name of an event. So I just need to give this action method one parameter and that parameter is going to match the name of the input in our form. So name was our name. Now in our very first video where we were working on coding events, we were manually adding events to our events list. With our form, what we want to do is we want to take in a new event and we want to add that event to the events list. So just events.add and then name. And then finally, we don't have a view for this, but we want to redirect to a view we already know. So we want to redirect back to the route where index is responding to get requests. So localhost 5001 slash events. And I can just use a type called redirect. And then in parentheses, we just need to give it a string. And that string is the route that index is responding at. And that is just going to say slash events. Great. Now there are a couple things we can do here to clean up our application before we test out our form submission. And the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just remove the code on lines 19 through 21, those events.add, I don't need them. I don't need them because now we have the new event action method and that action method is handling form submission. So every time a new event comes in through the form, it just automatically gets added to events. So I can go ahead and delete lines 19 through 21 and just take them out. There we go. Now what happens is when somebody goes to add an event through the form, they just type in whatever event they want to add. They hit add event. The name of that event gets sent over to the new event action method. Inside that action method, we add whatever event the person just entered into events, the list, and then it's going to redirect back to the index action method where events is going to be added to view bag. And then we're going to display the events. So each time you add an event, it's going to be added to the list at localhost 5001 slash events. So I can save this controller. And finally, what we can do is we're just going to add a little something to the index view to make it easier for users to click through to the add event form. Users don't know the structure of an application, so they can't just navigate through URLs. They need to click on through. So we are going to add a link to the add event form. And I can do that up here in the index view. I'm just going to put it right here on line three and I'm going to use a P tag to surround this. And then we're going to use an A tag. So we're going to use an A tag and inside of this tag, we're going to use ASP controller. And so what this is saying is we need to go to whatever controller we give it, which is events. So it's going to go over to the events controller and then go to the action. And this is the action method we want to go to. And the action method is add. We need to give it some text. So we're just going to say add event. And then we're going to close out. Alrighty. So what's going to happen is now there is a link on our page. If there aren't any events or somebody wants to add another event to the list, they can just click on that link. 
It will direct them to the add event form that we made in the last video. They can fill out that form. Once they fill out the form and hit submit, they're going to be redirected back to this page and whatever they put in that form is going to display on this page. So let's test it out. We can just run our application and then we will start out at localhost 5001 slash events. All right, we are up and running. So we just go to localhost 5001 slash events. We have no events. We removed all the code where we were manually adding events. So now I can just click on add event and then I'm going to add strange loop. And once I hit add event, there is strange loop and I can just keep doing this. I can click on add another event. I want to go to grace hopper, hit add event. There we go. Great job, everyone, and we will see you in the next video.